Well, it's Monsignor Charles Pope, and I send you Holy Thursday greetings and blessings, particularly to my parishioners, and but also to anyone else who might see or hear this. You know, I I particularly have it in my heart to uh, share with you. Um, the, this is really the anniversary of the priesthood. It's, it's it's that time when the Lord ordained the apostles for the first time, and 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 commissioned them and ordained them to to celebrate the Eucharist. And it's the first time that he himself, as the great high priest, celebrated the Eucharist, offered his own body and blood uh, for them at the Last Supper, which was also the first Mass. And so it's a very precious day for, for us to our priest. And here at the rectory, uh, there are seven of us all together, three seminarians and four priests, and we're going to have a nice uh, dinner, sort of self-cooked, <laughs> a little roast and uh, so on. And um, we'll celebrate the liturgy privately later. Um, and um, I, I, it's just it just it, it celebrate the common anniversary of of our priesthood, and uh, so it's a very special day for priests. And so I ask your prayers. Also, um, there are three at least three mandates that the Lord gave to the first priest um, that I want to just reaffirm with you as I as I make this video. The first thing is the, the, he he gives the mandatum or the the commandment to 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 love and serve one another and he symbolizes it by washing their feet. And he tells them to follow or imitate his example. And so our role as priests isn't to just be served but is in fact to be the servant of the servants of God to to take good care of you and um, you, you're so very good to us. You, you, I know you give me a place to live and you take such good care of me. And, but it's also my job to then spiritually try very hard to take care of you, to pray on your behalf, to study scripture for you and then teach you and uh, provide opportunities, celebrate sacraments for you, to serve you in all those different ways. And um, I'd also like to think too, you know, as the Lord does something so humble as to wash their feet, that it would never be, I would never think of it beneath me to scrub toilets or, or mop the floors. And I've done those things before here in the parish, not to praise myself, but just that somewhere I think in, in every priest's heart should be to be able to serve in the ordinary ways, but also in, ex, in, 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 in ordinary, you know, less maybe not for us ordinary ways, but, but ways that just whatever is needed to take care of God's people. If it means getting the church ready because the staff couldn't get in, it's, it's still our job, it falls to us. And I just want you to know, our first mandate is to love you and to serve you. The second mandate, of course, is he says, do this in remembrance of me. And it's our job and our mission and our glory and our dignity to celebrate the Eucharist with you and for you. And right now, while I can't celebrate with you, I want you to know I certainly am. Every day, Mass is offered here, every day in, in, in the parish I offer Mass for you for the intention that you've turned in and also for every every single one of you. Um, and um, I'm mindful of you as I celebrate this Mass, the daily Mass, uh, and uh, I never fail to do it. And uh, it's, it's, it's my privilege and my honor uh, to celebrate this Mass every day for you, for you. And then a, a kind of a third, if you will, mandate is, is that we priests are to be sanctified in the truth. The Lord prayed in the great priestly prayer of John 17. He said, sanctify them, namely these first priests, uh, sanctify them by means of the truth. And so it's my job to sit before the Lord and hear his truth and be sanctified by that truth, grow holy in it, and then teach it to you with love and with clarity. And pr I pray this for every priest, you know, that we're very, very serious, that it's, it's incumbent upon us to pray every day with the Lord and for you, and listen to the Lord and let his truth sanctify us, make us holy. And um, th these are the things that the Lord said to those first priests. And so these are the things that are on my mind as a priest. And what I pray is that you'll pray for me, that I'll do those things, that I will indeed um, uh, always love you and serve you, that I will always stay faithful to celebrating the Eucharist with you and for you, and that I will always become increasingly sanctified by sitting at the Lord's feet and listening to him like Mary did, and um, and then getting up and applying his word and teaching you with courage, with fidelity, but above all with love. And so these are my thoughts on Holy Thursday as your pastor. I speak on behalf of many other priests as well, other priests here at our rectory, but everywhere in the world, I pray. And uh, so do pray for all of us priests as I pray for you. And let's continue to pray for a quick end to this uh, terrible virus that we can begin to gather again and celebrate the sacraments together more frequently. But in the meantime, 
we celebrate these things mystically together. And every day I gather with the Lord and I gather with you mystically. So may Almighty God bless you all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.